Natalie and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're not. Today we're going to be filming a outfits video which I haven't done, it feels like a year and it honestly probably is but I don't know. Today we're going to be filming some outfit ideas for you know those summer days when you have nothing to wear. I tried to put together outfits from items that I think everybody has or like has similar outfits to them. I just hope you find this inspirational okay? <laughs> but yeah anyways without further ado Let's jump into Let's jump into this video. <laughs> okay, so this is the outfit number 1. I'm like 100% sure you already seen this skirt like somewhere on Pinterest. Basically, what I wanted to say with this outfit is that maxi dresses and like midi dresses are going to be like super in for summer. Even Emma Chamberlain said that her like typical shorts and a top switched to like a long maxi dress and a top. So you know when Emma says so, it has to be true, you know? <laughs> Basically, long skirts and small, small tops are it for the summer. Or if not that, then like super tiny skirts, but we will get into that. Another thing that is super, super popular this summer are like boho style pieces. And a lot of these like white boho midi skirts. So yeah, I actually found this in my mom's closet and it's super big on me and I safety pinned it. If you want to see how I do that, it's this in my last video, this is it. But yeah, also tube tops, I've been seeing like everywhere. I also made this in my last video, so make sure to check that video out. Anyways, if you don't have anything to wear, going monochrome is like a number one thing. White, every time looks super, super chic, super elegant, makes it look clean. So that's just like the best thing. If you have nothing to wear, just put on everything white and you're good to go. And then the last thing is just this baby mini bag. But yeah, anyways, outfit number one, let's move on to outfit number two. I need to calm down. This is the next outfit. If you've been using the internet, you would know that low-rise pants have been super back in the fashion. I don't personally know how I'm feeling about it because like, I kind of feel like it only suits like very, very thin people. I know that like a lot of people are not comfortable with wearing low-rise pants because they just, you know, don't feel as confident and I totally get that. But yeah, just because this video is like, you know, speaking about trends and all of that, I just, you know, it wouldn't be right to not mention them. Honestly, these pants are not even mine, they're my mom's. But yeah, I thought it would be a fun idea to like style them. Also, scarf tops, always in for the summer. It's the best, you know, thing to put into your suitcase also if you're going to, for like a vacation or anything because they don't take up so much space. And there's so many ways you can use them and accessorize your outfits, so definitely don't forget to pack a scarf for your, you know, holidays. I'm just pairing it with my platform Converse and a shoulder bag, and this bag has been through a lot. Like, this used to be all fake leather. Look at this now. It's so bad. See, like, the strap is okay from this side, and then if you flip it around, it's just really beaten up. But whatever, we are not throwing this baby out because sustainability and I also really love this <laughs> but as I was saying if you're not confident enough to wear low-rise pants or if you just don't own a pair just use your regular high-waisted pants or any jeans you want put on a scarf top an outfit is born so whatever I just wanted to show this to like seem cool <laughs> this is the new outfit do I feel a little bit like a hooker? I do, but <laughs> we try to look trendy and this is trendy, so. As I was saying with the first outfit, skirts this summer are either meters long or inches long. This is the shortest skirt I own and I'm not willing to do anything shorter than that, but this is still short compared to like the actual trend that is going on. However, I totally understand if you're like not into that super short trend or if you're just not comfortable with that, I'm not. So what I'm doing here is that I took like the shortest skirt that I own. Well, it doesn't have to be the shortest, but like, you know, a usual mini skirt and I kind of accentuated the shortness of it with the knee-high boots. Like I feel like the knee-high boots always make an illusion that the skirt is always shorter than it actually is. So that's how you can still be covered up, but still be trendy. Also, baby tees have been super trendy. They've been trendy for quite some time now, but I still don't own a single baby tee. So what I do is that I just take my regular t-shirts that I had for the longest time and I just tie them in the back and then just throw my hair. Nobody can really see that. And boom, you don't have to purchase anything new. You can just reuse your old shirts to look trendy. And that is it, so yeah. 
We're back at it again with the long, long maxi skirt, but that's just what I've been seeing all over the internet. So I just wanted to show you this one because this one is so pretty. Again, I'm wearing it with a baby tee. It's not a baby tee, I just tied it in the back again. This bag that I found in the thrift store for $2, and then again my chunky flip flops. Also, I feel like versions of this outfit have been everywhere on Pinterest. Like, look at these pictures. I feel like this is a super trendy outfit, but super easy to put together. Also super comfortable, and yeah, like, I think that this is gonna be like my go-to summer outfit. So, yeah. I feel like a goddess in this dress. Basically, long skirts make long dresses as well. Maxi dresses have been everywhere, or even like super short mini dresses, like same with the skirts basically. So yeah, this is my go-to dress for this summer. And yeah, a lot of neutrals, a lot of blacks, whites, simple is key I would say. I don't know, that's just like how I'm seeing it, if you have a different idea. I do you but yeah I've been just seeing a lot of neutrals so that's what I'm doing and I absolutely love it I'm again pairing it with my beat up bag and then these kitten heels from Stradivarius I really want to go to like a dinner in this so I gotta convince my boyfriend to take me but yeah like oh I'm literally fangirling over myself in this dress and that like never happens so there's gotta be something right with this dress you know anyways <laughs> Alrighty guys, this is the next outfit. Even though this outfit is like the most basic of them all, I would say, and the least trendiest, I just wanted to say that this is like my go-to outfit, like everyday outfit, I would say, because sometimes, you know, you just want to feel comfortable, and these are my favorite pairs of jeans. I just feel really comfortable and safe in them. Also, like if I'm on my period, I don't want to be wearing skirts all the time. This is just like the best item that I could wear, because I'm not a big shorts person, even though I think on other people they look amazing I just don't prefer to wear shorts on myself so I would much rather wear some mom jeans and just like live through the hot weather than wear some shorts because I hate them but you know you do you of course if you love shorts you can just wear this with a pair of shorts but what I wanted to say with this outfit is that corset tops are also so in they have been in and I don't see them going out of style anytime soon because they're just so flattering on the body they look so beautiful so yeah I paired it again with my white converse and this beautiful pink tiny mini bag and that's that's my like go-to running around getting stuff done outfit you know it's just like comfy cute so anyways this is the next outfit and moving on to the last and final outfit let's go <laughs> Alrighty guys, you already know this video wouldn't be complete without a tiny tiny mini dress. As I already said like 10 times, this summer is all about like super super short or super super long. So here I have my shortest mini dress and I took inspiration from this photo that I found on Pinterest. The girl did it in all white which looks way more chicer as I said with the first outfit. White always looks so elegant and chic. But yeah, I didn't have the same pieces that she has, so I kind of recreated it with my like colorful pieces. I have this super cute silk dress and then this cardigan. My aunt always said that recipes are not there to follow them, but for inspiration. And that's how I feel about Pinterest, you know? So yeah, this is the last outfit. Basically any tiny mini dress with like a tiny cropped cardigan would work. And then some flip flops or whatever shoe you have and then a tiny bag. And there you go. Yeah, anyways, that's the last outfit and let's move on to the outro. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was all the seven looks that I prepared for you guys. I think it was seven or I hope because I didn't really keep count. Hopefully you got at least like some sort of inspiration, but if not, it's okay. At least I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because my percentage of the viewers that watch my videos is like 10% and then 90% of my viewers are now subscribed to me. So please subscribe, it means the world to me. Also, we're like this close to hitting 6,000 subscribers, so yeah, <laughs> please subscribe. <laughs> 
Also, if you have a minute, go check out my Instagram, my TikTok. And then if you want to spice up your summer wardrobe, don't forget to check out my Vinted. I'm reselling a bunch of my old clothes for the cheapest prices, which are still in really good condition. So don't forget to check it out. And that is it. I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.